This is Chris 6 News at 6. Motor, motorized bicycles, the latest fad over in Port Aransas. They've become really popular with both residents and tourists there. But as our Jeremiah Marshall reports, there were fears that they might be banned. I thought we were going to go out of business. So That was a scary thought for business owner of Island Motorbikes, Glenn Shaw, to sink in. He was one of the many Port Aransas residents who thought a proposed ban of the electric scooters might impact motorized bicycles as well. Yes, we were concerned that they were going to include the ban of motorized bicycles in that scooter ban. But Mayor Charles Bouillon says that's not the case. The city council's focus is only on scooters. The reason? One, number one, I'll be real honest with you, we don't want those things laying around all over the sidewalks. Mayor Bouillon says scooters left on the sidewalks clutter up the path for foot traffic and there's also a safety issue. We have a lot of people uh, who walk around town um, and uh, simply we just don't want them. Port Aransas Mayor Charles Bouillon says that these bikes are allowed on the road, but that doesn't mean that they own the road, meaning that they still need to follow state law and regulations. Under state law, the bikes must be registered, they can't exceed 30 miles per hour, and the engine size must be less than 50 cubic centimeters. They're going beyond the speed limit, safety limit, which is 30 miles an hour, and their horsepower output doesn't meet state standards, then we're going to we'll do something about it. That's a promise. Jeremiah Marshall, Chris 6 News. Now, City Council expected to discuss that scooter ban further at the May 16th meeting.